at this point, me and DJ was like, we was beefing. Like, I was, I was sick of him. Like, I was, <laughs> but I really liked him. So I didn't respond. And I see on my lips, take a little sip, privacy on the door, I'm gonna make this shit work. I miss y'all. Hi, my babies. What's going on? It's Pam, and I am back with another banger. All right, period. So, I'm coming back with y'all for another story time because I really was slacking. Like, I haven't posted a video since August, and we're, that was 2020. So, it was like five months ago. Six, maybe. And now that I am getting back into my groove i figure why not a story time that was the one that y'all tuned into the most so i'm gonna give y'all another story time about how it's dope yeah <laughs> um another thing if y'all see well y'all gonna see not if y'all see when y'all see me with this whole same setup and my q a is because i busted these videos out on the same night Period, because I'm coming hard 2021 with the content for y'all because I love y'all and I love this channel and we're going to manifest the growth together together and we're going to do it right I'm going to do it right so I got my little snacks and we're going to tell a story guys alright guys so this is going to be a story time about how I messed up so bad lost my dream man like when I tell y'all this story, y'all gonna think I'm dumb, and I'm pretty sure this boy actually thinks I'm psycho. I'm almost 100% sure he thinks there is something mentally wrong with me. So, wait, gotta gloss. You always gotta gloss first. Alright. So... I gotta give y'all the backstory first. So this happened in November and February. But the backstory started in January. So there was this like really popping game. And of course, me and my best friend we had to be there because nothing happens in Baltimore. So when something does happen, we were there. We go to the game and I see him. Oh, let me give him a name. My dream man's name is going to be Moon. We get to the game and I see him and I'm like. Why don't I know him? So I'm asking my best friend, who is it? Because we know everybody. Even if we don't directly know you, we know you. So I was just confused as to why I didn't know him. So I asked my best friend, like, who is that? She tells me, and I'm like, why don't I know him? My you, this is January. So, the game goes by, whatever. And this was, it was a lot of people there. So I wasn't about to um, meet him at the game. Like, it was, it was too many people there for me to see him after the game. Plus, I was already, I had already got caught up at that game. And I was talking to somebody else. So, I wasn't ready to do all that. Plus, I don't press no button. But what I was going to do was let him know that he was on my radar. So, I go home, get my phone, find his Instagram, duh. Like a couple pictures, but I like the old ones. So, he know, like, yes, bam, I'm on your page. He could feel my vibrations, follow me back, and we could get the show on the road. That night, he did not press me. Like, he just followed me back. What's that? What am I going to do with that? But I didn't care because I was happy. I was actually talking to somebody that I was really happy with. So I just, it didn't, it didn't, I wasn't mad. So I forget about him. Fast forward to November, me dealing with this DJ character. By the time November had came around, and this is about to be like a crazy timeline. So just bear with me because I'm going to be, yeah. By the time November came around, she kissed my man happened in the beginning of November. 
When I tell you me and this boy was arguing the entire November, we were leaving. Like, that was such a bad month for me. First week, this girl. Second week, this girl plus another girl. Third week, this girl plus another girl plus the ex. Fourth week, it was just like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> like, whereas it was something new every single week. Like, I had never, I'm not even a girl that's going to try to dictate, regulate, none of, and I'm not going to argue. I was arguing with this man. It got to the point where I was in class texting and cussing. Like, like it was getting bad. It was, it was very toxic. So, mind you, I have not spoken to Moo, nothing. Like, I seen him in January, wanted him in January. He didn't press me, moved on. We as two boys removed at this point. Kind of forgot he existed. It got to the point where me and DJ was in such a bad spot that females were in, they were coming to me at this point. So it was this girl that knew me and we were kind of cool. And so her friend comes to me and is like, Pen, do you still deal with so-and-so because he be texting, ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, oh, for real? Just, just add her to the list and because me and this girl was cool she ends up calling me and she's like no Pam like I didn't know that y'all was that serious so I would have been told you and da, da, da. so I'm like alright so she tells me like well I'm not here right now cause this is all while I'm in school she's like I'm not here right now but when I get back like I'll show you the screenshots like so I'm like alright when she did that, when she called me and I got off the phone with her, this was still the same. Like, it was either the, it was like the week after all of that she gets my man stuff. And we were still dealing with that. Like, the girl, Meg, from the story, she ended up, like, exposing, like, the whole, like, football team. And it was just a lot of mess trickling over from that one situation. So, I was already, like, on 10. So... When she told me, like, I believed her. And I'm I'm instinctive. Like, I believed her. Because I had already seen something that made me believe it. So I was just like, all right, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm just done. Like, I had just, it had just clicked in my head. Like, I'm just done. So I ended up going to class that day. And he texted me. Just, just, I guess it's like, what you doing? Like, a random text or whatever. And, you know, when you texting a person you're dealing with, like, oh, find me a boyfriend, find me a girlfriend, and they think, oh, you try to be cute, you try to be funny. No, I texted him now, was this serious, like, I'm done with you. And he thought that I was playing, so he starts, like, I guess playing along with me, sending, like, his cousins and stuff, trying to be cute. And I was like, nah, give me, give me moo. This was the most random thing that I could ever say, because I still had never been in actual contact with this man. I'm like, no, I want him. So I'm texting DJ. I'm like, no, actually, I want move. You know, he go to so and so school. He play this, that, and the third. He do this. This who he hang out with. Figure it out. Give me him, cause DJ know everybody too. So I was like, all right, give me him, like for real. So he he ain't like that when I said that. He was like, um, you play too much, and since you you got so many details, figure it out yourself. Talk to him yourself. He was like, if you text him, lose my number and all this stuff. And I'm like. Ain't you in every girl message? So I was like, you do too much, but okay. Like, why are you mad with me? But I really think that was kind of his secret way of just trying to get me out of the way. Now that I think about it, without feeling guilty, whatever. I ended up going home that night. And because he kept wanting to be, because DJ kept wanting to be a nonchalant little bastard, I was like, I'm going to show him. He was with my close friends. So I go to my close friends and I play this little move thing up some more. So I used to text, talk, whatever you want to call it, another boy that went to the same school as Moo. So I go to my close friends and DJ knew about that boy. I go to my close friends and I'm like, so do y'all think it's wrong if I try to talk to Moo, even though I used to talk to him, this boy, because I know they go to the same school, but they don't hang in the same circle. So it really shouldn't be a problem. Da, da, da. Still not actually thinking. I'm about to be talking to this boy. Literally just talking out the side of my neck to make DJ mad. Y'all, when I tell you, I say that a lot. Like, within the next couple of days, I had a DM from Moo, like, the next week. 
6 o'clock in the morning. Not trying to press you, but you look really good, LOL. Or like, he called me pretty. Or I think he said, you look really good, LOL. I seen, I woke up and I seen that. I was like, what the? Because at this point, me and DJ was like, we was beefing. Like, I was, I was sick of him. Like, I was. But I really liked him. So I didn't respond to Moon when I seen his DM. I just let it sit there. I didn't open it. I just let it sit there. So I go to school that day. And coincidentally, this just so happens to be the same day that I run into homegirl who called me the week before saying she going to show me the messages. Small world. Small city Baltimore is. So we sitting down and she's showing me the messages, y'all. And I'm talking about this boy was sick. Let me let me just lay this out for you. He was sick. I used to get like really bad times in a month to the point where I couldn't walk, really shouldn't have been doing anything. I didn't bought this person medicine, soup, so like I didn't brought this stuff for him and he's texting a girl talk about you need to come take care of me. But lying, talking about Pam Muta, she tried to talk to me before. I wasn't texting that girl. I didn't text that girl. But it's here in black and white. And I'm looking at it. So. So, when she showed me the message, I'm like, girl, that's all I needed. This is, this is all the proof that I needed so that I could just move on. Because no matter how disloyal somebody is to me, I will never do as a guy does. Like, if we're still, whether it's a bumpy patch, gray area, confusing, if it's still like, but you still text me good morning every day, even though we toxic and we arguing, I'm not about to go entertain somebody else. I'm not like you. Because that's wrong to me. So... I was like, this is all I needed to get away from him and talk to Moo. So I'm telling homegirl, and she's like, oh, you want to talk to him? And I'm like, girl, yes, have you seen him? Like, he looks great. Like, what? yes, oh my God, are you crazy? So she like, well, I can make it happen. She texts somebody, and then he DM me. Like, literally, she texts somebody 30 seconds later. She, he DM me like, LOL, never mind, what's your number? I hadn't even responded to his DM. <laughs> What's what I was doing? And what I did, I gave him the number. Yes, I did. I gave him the number. Because, yeah, I was ready to get it, get, get with my book. I can't even describe how good this man looked, y'all. Like, I can't even put the... <laughs> I can't even put it into words. Like, it's like God took... All right, never mind. So, yeah, he like, oh, what's your number? I sent him my number. We start texting. <sighs> then December rolls around. So me, he, me and him are texting. But I kept bluffing him out. So then December rolled around, and we kind of just stopped talking. Like it was, it was definitely my fault because <laughs> I kept bluffing him out because I was still like a dummy. I ended up going on vacation, like Christmas vacation, and I had posted something, and he stood up like hot eyes. He was like, but you keep playing with me, and da, da, da. so I'm like, all right, I'm back in here. But at the same time, he stood up with hot eyes so I could be smart again and get back in there with Moo, because at this point, it had been like two weeks, no communication, because I kept bluffing him out. Same time he doing that, this one, DJ like, but Pam, I really care about you, and I don't want to hurt you, and I want you around, and I'm just trying to figure it out. So I'm like, all right. So what I do again? Go smooth. Hey, go down me. This is December, y'all. Keep, keep, stay with me. January. DJ A, DJ B and them still in my face, still lying to me, and I'm still sitting here like, all right, like I'll be with you, DJ. I'll be with you, DJ. <laughs> Yo, February comes around and Moon comes back. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta be the dumbest girl. I really had 
has to be like the stupidest female ever. <laughs> because I don't understand how I had three chances in front of me. And every time I knocked them down for somebody who is not him. Like, they not even, like, this man is short. This man is tall. He got, like, muscles in his face. This, he he got that stuff too, but not as good as that one. Like, it was just like, move, DJ. He was up here. And I was just down. February come around. February 14th to be exact. And that was my last day talking to move. Because DJ made it seem like he was going to do something for me for Valentine's Day. And he didn't. And DJ had a, and Moo had a game that day. And I was trying to get some Moo game. But mind you, this is these are like the big games in the city. So I it was sold out. No tickets, no nothing. And by this time, he was tired of me. So he kind of just was like, all right. like I, I guess he just got sick of me playing games. By the time quarantine came around, I tried to talk to him again. And he, was, he had no rap for me. And he was he, nothing. He did not follow me on Instagram, y'all. Moo, you can follow me back. He don't follow me on Instagram, y'all. <laughs> like, why he had to unfollow me, though? And so I have DJ and I have Boo. Now I just, I, I'll make dumb decisions with my heart is in limbo. Like, this is why I need to be alone until I'm 24. So I can have a clear head and not be messing with these boys. Because nobody in their right mind would have turned that man down. I'm trying to, it, yeah, my friends understand. Because now whenever he posts something, we are sending in the group chat. And they be like, Pam, I still can't believe you did that. And I'm like, neither can I. Neither can I. But that's the story time of how I messed up with my dream man. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he won't. He probably won't because I'm pretty sure he thinks there's something wrong with me. It is. But you live and you learn. And that's my story. Love y'all. What's happening, Gigi? Feel the band know what we're bad. Get a little bro, them a job. You can come get rich with us. You gon' eat or you gon' starve. Keep us certified.